What's up, everybody? Welcome back to MTG Booster Pack Kraken. We are down to the last and best part of the Zendikar Rising promo pack box that we had. Uh, we did a variety, a uh, handful of regular promo pack videos. Now we are down to just the last portion, which is obviously the foil promo packs, the best part for last. Uh, looks like we've got nine of them in total. So we'll have some arena codes to give away soon, and hopefully we can pull some serious foil promo stamped bombs from Zendikar Rising and other recent sets. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know when we post new videos. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and you can get a closer view, a better view perhaps, of all the cool stuff that we crack out of these packs here. So, um, let's get cracking. All right, we'll put that arena code aside for a giveaway for later. And our first Zendikar Rising foil promo is Confounding Conundrum. Definitely a card that sees a little bit of play here and there. We've got Blood Chief's Thirst, which is, as we've talked about, the best alt art card from the Zendikar Rising set in these packs. So we have a foil one right off the bat. That's nice. We would love to open nine of these if possible. And our random rare... Mythos of Nethroi, playable removal card, looks really nice in foil. So nothing crazy out of that first pack, but certainly two cards that are seeing some of play, especially on Arena. All right. Code aside and Taborax, Hope's Demise. So, still nothing to write home about, but 2 2 flyer, it's a demon, gets bigger, it's black. We've got Royal Eruption. And second, random set rare, Bedevil, that's cool. Uh, Bedevil was an awesome, awesome removal card back in the Ravnica block. That is a nice looking card. Perhaps one for the collection. Yeah, let's separate. Okay, so we've got our Zendikar Rising Rares, we've got our Random Set Rares. And we've got a Forsaken Monument, nice. So we've got our first Mythic. So this is that colorless deck booster, essentially. Makes your colorless creatures cost more, I mean, uh, makes them bigger, makes your colorless spells cost less. Essentially, by increasing the amount of colorless mana you're able to produce. Um, just a colorless specialty card, for sure. We've got an Into the Royal. We'll put our Mythics over here. Into the Royal Foil. And our third random set rare, Stormwing Entity. A card that is seeing a little bit of popularity these days. All right, pack four. We want some Planeswalkers, we want some lands, we want Zareth. Probably the most 
popular rare out of Zendikar Rising when it first came out was Zareth. Everyone loved the the Merfolk Mill strategy. So, or the Rogue, I apologize, the Rogue Mill strategy, the Demir Rogue Mill strategy. So here's Zareth, San the Trickster, Trickster. And our alt art is a Roiling Regrowth. So we're getting one of each one. And our random set rare for pack four. Mirage Mirror. That's cool. That's out of Hour of Devastation. That looks really, really nice in foil. I uh, hope that's coming through well via the camera. Uh, that is super, super cool looking in a foil. That is very nice. Really, really nice looking card. All right, foils, stop sliding. Pack five. And we've got a Leyline Tyrant. Nice. Extremely playable. 4-4 four, four Mythic Dragon. Everybody's pumping all their available dragons into their dwarf and treasure decks. This is definitely seeing play in a, our second Mythic Rare. We've got another royal eruption we want to open more blood chiefs thirsts but here's another royal eruption and our random set rare cub warden interesting nice looking card not really playable or worth anything but uh good looking foil card All right, four packs left. And Zendikar Rare, Roiling Vortex. We have opened this until we're absolutely blue in the face. Roiling Vortex, another one. We've got another Blood Chief's Thirst. Thank goodness. Fantastic looking card. These get traded away at supersonic speed everybody wants these alt art blood chief thirsts and our random set rare shadow spear that is gorgeous talk about a playable card so probably the best new artifact made at maybe the best new equipment made prior to this last sword in modern horizons 2 but Shadow Spear is an absolute devastating one drop artifact equipment. This is a great, great, great card. Uh, pretty much goes in almost any, any commander or brawl deck. Just a fantastic card. That is really, really great. We'll put that over here. Code to the side, and our Zendikar Rising is Coral Helm Chronicler. Might as well have been nothing. <laughs> Just a nearly worthless rare. Then we've got a Roiling Regrowth. And our Random Set Rare. Ember Cleave. This is amazing. This is amazing. We just cracked two of the best equipments in recent memory. Two of the best non-sword equipments that have been made, that have been printed, that have been played with. Ember Cleave is our third mythic. That's fantastic. Ember Cleave is incredible. Usually just a mono-red staple. 
Shadow Spear, fantastic. These are amazing. Great cards. Really, really, really good looking foil equipments. Two left. And we've got Legion Angel. Good and limited. Not really beyond that. But it is a 4 drop, 4 3 flying angel. Seems to be relatively good card. Not amazing. The foil looks really nice. Really, really nice looking foil. We've got our first Cargan War Leader. This looks really nice in foil. And we've got a Fay of Wishes. Soon as uh, I saw that it was a blue adventure, I was really hoping to brazen borrower, but uh, we're not that lucky, so it's Fay of Wishes. All right, last pack. Haven't seen a Planeswalker yet. Haven't seen a land yet. And our last Zendikar Rising foil promo rare inscription of abundance. Uh, it's our first inscription out of this lot of packs. Maybe the best one out of all of the inscriptions. So that's not bad. Looks real nice in foil. We've got an Into the Royal. And our last random set foil promo rare is Fabro Elder. Not bad. Mana producer. Uh, you know, it's a multicolor mana producer. Can only go in the right deck, but mana dorks are always nice to have. So, uh, obviously we got our best two cards back to back with Shadow Spear and Ember Cleave. Uh, and we did get two other mythic rares with Forsaken Monument and Leyline Tyrant. Uh, overall not too bad. Didn't see any Planeswalkers. Um... Ember Cleave is certainly going to be our most valuable card here today. Uh, write down in the comments your favorite cards that we cracked, the ones that you have or you're hoping to get a hold of, um, all your favorite cards out of Zendikar Rising. Tell us about how excited you guys are for the current set and the upcoming set. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, hit that bell notification. And keep cracking. We'll see you soon.